These will protect you. Acorns? They're magic. Anything you throw them at turns to stone. Welcome to the Infernal Brotherhood's Willow series. Today we're going to answer the question, what are magical acorns? We'd like to invite you to subscribe to this channel for more Willow content and like and share this video. This information is taken from the Willow film, novelization, and source book. Magic is a large part of Willow's universe. It is ever-present. Some devote their lives to it, and some take it naturally because of their species or region in the world. Magic itself is a force that affects other forces in the known world. But more than that, magic can actually circumvent or change the very laws of nature. Now, some magicians are able to invest portions of their powers into inanimate objects. The three magical acorns that the High Alduin gifts to Willow are perfect examples of this. Once a magician learns a spell, they can cast it as many times as they like, even discovering new uses for it or varying its effects through use. It takes a physical toll on them. Every magician has a finite ability to cast until they are exhausted, and this is why magic items may become useful. The downside is that the items may be stolen or otherwise used against the magician who imbued them, so very few imbued magical items exist. The magical acorns that the High Alduin created were meant as an offensive projectile weapon. He could have just as easily chosen bones, peach pits, or sparrow feathers. For his use, it simply had to be something that was once alive. He imbued the acorns with a very powerful petrification spell. The magical acorns could be handled with relative safety, but if struck by one, you would be instantly turned to stone. Though most imbued objects have a single use of the spell they contain, the magical acorns could actually be used more than once, as shown when Willow is rowing himself to Finrazel's island and is attacked by the fish boy who was placed there by Queen Bavmorda as a guardian. When he was attacked by the fish boy in his giant piranha form, Willow took a magical acorn out of his pouch and <laughs> immediately dropped it. A common experience for Willow, it seems. However, when Willow escaped the net that he was entangled in and subsequently dragged under the water with, he collected the dropped magical acorn and threw it at the giant piranha. As the magical acorn hit the piranha, it immediately turned to stone, sinking below the surface of the lake. The second magical acorn was dropped out of Willow's hands in Tirasleen, and he was intending to throw it at a troll who was attacking him. It ended up turning a bridge plank to stone, which was later broken through as Willow tried to flee from the troll. The third and final magical acorn Willow had was used in defense against Queen Bavmorda. The queen demanded that Willow place the infant Elora Danon on her altar so that she could complete her ritual of obliteration. Willow refused, claiming he was the most powerful sorcerer of all time, and threw the magical acorn at her. <laughs> queen Bavmorda caught the magical acorn, which immediately turned her hand to stone. However, it seemed even though the magic within the acorns was powerful, she was able to ultimately resist it through a profound effort of will. It seems that those who are adept in magic, or otherwise powerful in their own right, can actually resist some imbued magical effects, which is yet another reason many magicians never or rarely practice this form of magical item creation. And that is all I have to say about magical acorns. Thank you so much for spending time with us. We would like to invite you to subscribe to this channel and feel free to click the like button and share this video. Until the Infernal Brotherhood convenes again, my fellow scruffy-looking nerf herders, may the Force be with you. I'm the greatest sorcerer! <laughs>